What's up everybody, Poke Nurse Aaron here, and on this channel I don't only care about Pokemon, I care about you. Today I got my Average Apes Comics and Games booster pack, I believe, I don't know, feels kind of squishy, there might be something else in there, but let's open it up and take a look and see. Alright, so... Came from uh, Average Ape Comic and Games. I removed my address there. Let's go ahead and just jump right in with a, a nice little cutting open of the box here. So guys, if you did not get a chance to see me win this video, go check it out. Um, I show you my cousin actually opening up some team up packs in that video and he Pulled a hyper rare Pikachu and Zekrom card. I was so jealous. Anyway, let's see here if we can get in this. We might have to do a little dissection here. Okay. Looks like they might have taped it inside of the box. Ah, that's why it's squishy. We have bubble wrap. Let me know if you guys like bubble wrap. Bubble wrap's still fun. Pop it. Pop. One of my favorite things to do with bubble wrap is I like to twist it up real tight and squeeze it so that way it pops and crackles. Kind of like Rice Krispies. Let me know if you guys like bubble wrap down in the comments below. You're never too old for bubble wrap, never too old for a little bit of fun. So as I was anticipating this getting here, guys, I was thinking, you know what? I think I'm gonna give you some codes. And so here we go. There's a code for you. Let me know if you guys like the background. I actually spent a little bit of money today and decided to upgrade my studio. And I pulled all of my Elite Trainer Box arts to make the background right here for you. So. Once I get through this Fort Knox of a wrapping, I'm going to show you guys what is going on. Bubble wrap. All right. So in here, I won the Tag Bolt booster box. I believe it is a 30 pack booster box. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into this. Um, I'm going to open up 10 of them now. We'll do 10 per video. I'll give you guys code cards along the way. I'll make it interesting. I believe the artwork on this is the same all the way across the board. So let us see what we have going on here. And get it. I'd like to keep this to hold my cards in it because I think that's a very, very cool booster box there. All right, guys, this is my first booster box opening video, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a look and see right here what we have going on. All these packs. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to count out one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll do the bottom five. I could have counted from the bottom up. That would have been a lot easier. All right, guys, we're going to put the left and the right back here and we're going to just keep this off to the side. Let me back my camera up a little so you guys can have a better view here. All right, guys, let me know if you liked the video where I gave away a bunch of the trainer codes. That was a lot of fun for me. I have uh, quite a few more codes left to give away. And today, when I was in Target, I picked up one of the, oh goodness, I heard Japanese packs were a lot harder to open up. I picked up one of the, uh, is that the trainer decks right here? Just so that way you guys can go ahead and play with that. 
Um, let's see here. Is that the that card? Uh, and then the one in the front. And we'll just go ahead and get started here. We have a Pidgeot, an Alolan Graveler, Psyduck, Persian, and our rare is a Muck. Or I guess there's there are some that are rare and some that are not. Um, and so I guess you can uh, make it through without having any rares. I'm actually gonna use my scissors on this because I don't wanna damage any cards. And I want to make it nice and easy and quick for you guys so that you don't have to sit there and watch me open up packs forever. You want to see the cards, right? All right. We have an Escape Rope, a Dragonair, Magikarp, Charmander, and a Holographic Gyarados card. My first pull from the box, and I am impressed. Well, that's maybe one thing that I need to do is make it so I can put a spot for uh, distinguishing what the cards are. So let's get into pack number three here. When I won this, I went a little crazy. Um, as average ape comics would say, I went a little, little uh, ape nuts. Anyway, I went crazy and I went out and I bought a surprise to open up on this channel. We have a Needle King. Hitmonchan, Farfetch'd, Nidorino, and a Lapras card. But I went a little bit crazy, and I went out the very next day and bought myself an Elite Trainer Box. A Tag Team Elite Trainer Box, because I was so excited and I wanted to share that excitement with you guys. So I haven't got a chance to open that one up yet, but I will. It is definitely, definitely on the agenda to do. So there you have a Cynthia, and Execute, Meowth, Lolan Geodude, and a Tauros card. All right, I believe this is pack number five. We're gonna go ahead and get right into this. Guys, let me know if you're excited about me opening up this booster box. I am super, super excited about it. I have so much more to come as well. I did a little bit of shopping today, some planning today. I have some ideas that I want to do for my next videos. And we have a tag team Celebi Venusaur. I am super excited about that. That's a GX card. All right, uh, I do have sleeves here. Let me go ahead and sleeve these two bad boys up. Sleeve. And I'll do the top loaders off screen just to protect those for you so that way I don't get any hate in the comments. So nobody likes hate. Unless you do like hate. If you like hate, leave me a dislike. If you don't like hate, give me a like. All right. So pack number six. So we had some luck with that. Pack number five there. Only five packs in, and we already have two great pulls. So, oh, I see something good hanging out in the back there. Uh, we have Meowth. Let's get there. Let's get there. A Tag Team Gengar Mimic U GX card. I have not pulled two GX cards in a row, especially not from the Tag Team series. How awesome is that? Let's just put a side-by-side -side here for you. Oh my goodness. Guys, this box does not get any better. I am going to actually share this with you right here. We have a couple code cards because I am just so excited about all this. Let me flip that over here and we'll flip this one over here. We'll get that shadow out of here. I'm still working on my lighting in here. so. If you guys have any suggestions about lighting, leave them down in the comments below. I could definitely use it. I do have a light over here and I, you can't see it, but there's a reflector over here that's kind of giving me a little bit of light on my face. Um, so I have the light focusing on this. I need to get another light for the other side. Um, however, I don't have it yet. So it's just a matter of time before I get to that point. All right, here we go again. Get rid of that card here. 
and flip it around. We have the knee braces, the Weedle card, Nicki Minaj, we have Pidgeotto, and we have a holographic Voltorb card. Let's go ahead and sleeve that one up too. All right. Now I've been told that the quality of the Japanese cards is so much better. Um, I've never done a side-by-side -side quality comparison, but just looking at the cuts of the cards, they look a ton better. Um, I haven't seen a single one that has damage around the edges, and that just is impressive to me because every single, every single rare card that I've ever pulled has had some sort of damage to it. Guarantee I could never get a Gem Mint 10 on any of them, a Paris, and we have a Holographic Trainer card. Is that Bill? Maybe? Let me know if you know what that is down in the comments below. But so far, out of all of these packs, I have two left and I have pulled five pulls. So two of which being ultra rare cards. Sorry, I had to think there for a second. Didn't want to say hyper rare and sound like a ding dong. Okay. Elolan Golem. That's actually a really cool card. I like that card a lot. And is that Sabrina non-holographic? Yes, that is. So I have heard also that that card is a very, very playable and is very sought after even in the non-holographic form. And so I'm pretty happy with that card. Pretty happy. All right. Go ahead and flip these around and this is the last pack for the day so go ahead and put down in the comments what you think it's going to be let me know that there's going to be some last pack magic in the comment section below we have a muck a kakuna an alolan geodude a tentacool and a non-holographic pincer card but that's okay because we definitely did get some great pulls today we definitely did, definitely did. All right, and that Gyarados and my favorite cards coming up here. I have an English version of this card and I have not pulled this one at all. So I am so, so excited to add those to my collection. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, just know I give away code cards at random. There's no way to predict it. I give them away because I don't use them. I've tried the online game and it just doesn't work for me. So I give them to you guys. All right, guys. And that's going to be the last code card for this video. Anyway, subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that way you can get updated when I get live videos or not. I don't do live videos yet. When I upload a video, let me know that you have subscribed by commenting down below. Give me a thumbs up, ring that bell so that way you can get your code cards. Everybody, these cards, they don't mean anything to me, they mean more to you. Guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks for sticking around until the end. If you enjoyed the video, please, please, please check out some of my older ones. I have pulled fantastic things before. I have pulled not so fantastic things. Check out the dollar store video. I bought every single dollar store pack at one point in time, so you should check that one out too. All right, guys, I'm going to get off of here. Thanks for watching. Bye.